Only on Christ 17 TV. We got another one for you. Another one, baby. And this one is just some ill shit. This is from Canada. This is, um, something different. But it's, it's crazy. It's like, how are they letting shit like this even happen? Like, women should play with women. Men should play with men. You shouldn't be able in sports for Kevin Durant or LeBron James to go to the WNBA and just dominate 100 points per game. Check this out, though. This is the craziest. This is kind of ill. This is ill. This is mad ill. Rugby in Canada. What to tell you uh, other than <laughs> women's compassion continues to get taken advantage of you know this this individual who knows why they're doing what they're doing but uh, certainly <laughs> gives them a lot of opportunity to grab and touch and get you know get all up on women I can tell you that much I don't know what their motivations are to be honest but trans rugby player confronted as unhinged teammates scream and call police by the way, if you enjoy my coverage or you're entertained by it, I hope that today will be the day I earn your subscription. There's a subscribe button down below or a follow button, wherever you may be watching it. I hope that you'll uh, do that. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. What of three women injured by Ash Davis, this is this individual, in just the last month has said, I've never been hit like that before, even at the competitive women's level. There was so much more brute force. There are women who are bigger than him, but no girls hit like that. This is a strong human. And if you look at this individual, this is a reporting by uh, 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 Rebel News. It, it, it's it's, it's ridiculous. Website and make a small donation. That would be great. Here's a, you know, an obvious biological man. Greatly appreciated. We're going to take in the game between Fergus and Burlington, and uh, we're hopeful to scrum uh, Mr. Davis and his teammates and the opposing team. I have no idea what we're going to run into, but should be interesting. Yeah, but let's go, girls. <laughs> By the way, this entire video, obviously, I'm not only going to watch like a minute of it, <clears throat> is available at Rebel News, and you should, uh, you know, check that out. Yeah, 34, 21. It literally couldn't be easier for this guy. Okay, I'm just trying to ask some questions, ma'am. But that's not the appropriate time. For that. Why are you Sorry. allowing a biological male to compete against female players? I'm not going to have a conversation with okay. you. Well, I'll talk to Ash then. Ash, do you take joy in injuring female rugby players? <laughs> are you lacking the skills to play with male players where you should be? You're a biological male, aren't you? I got you. I got you. All these, like, overweight women, too, like, uh... They're just like, oh my God, I support you. Right here, thank you, sir. No one... Mr. Ash, are you are you a misogynist? Thank you. Coming with you. Oh, please leave my money back. back. Hey, oh, watch assault. It. That's assault. You're charged with assault. Yeah, yeah, see, you can't do that. You can't put your hands on a reporter or anybody. I mean, the the hilarity. I mean, just look at these women get unhinged. Freedom. Charter of rights and freedom. Charter of rights and freedom. humans matter. Human rights matter. Well, why do Human we have, rights, no. Why do we have separate Human categories for matter. male and female sports? Human rights matter. Okay. You're being. I mean, it's like they're so delusional. They end up calling the police. <laughs> he doesn't even look like a female. He's got a bald spot in the back. He looks like George Costanza from Seinfeld. And what do you mean? His rights. Tell him to go play with the guys. He's, he's hurting women. Now let me tell you this. If those same girls that's defending this guy, if he was playing on a different team and busting their ass and putting them in the hospital, they wouldn't be feeling the same talking about human rights and this shit. Hey, check, check out this out. Do what you want to do, 
but keep the sports women play women, men play men. That that's that's ridiculous. How's it fair for her, him to hit hurt? Okay, let me put it to you like this. If this wasn't sports and he hit a woman, domestic violence, right? But it's okay for him to say he's a woman. He's not even dressed like a female. He's got a bald spot. He looks like a man, like a like a 30-year-old man who's, who's aged like he's 50. And he's out there playing with girls. If that's not the most pathetic thing as a man to compete with women, and not even competing, you're hurting women. On a different team, you put three girls on a stretcher. How is that even allowed? How is this not getting more, like, attention? Like, this is crazy. How are you not embarrassed as 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 a, okay, a human being to do some shit like this. Like I said, now, would it be fair if Kevin Durant or LeBron James went to the WNBA and posted these girls up every time and score 100 points per game? They'd be screaming, oh, that's not right. Oh, well, no. That's what they're doing. And I can't believe the the girls are like just so like upset. They don't see anything. Oh, yeah, why? Because they're winning. Because they're probably winning games with this fucking man. That's why they're trying to keep him on the team. Now, if they was on the other team and one of them girls got carted off and put into an ambulance, I bet they'd be screaming, it's not fair. Boy, what a motherfucker will do just to get a win. If that's not cheating at an all-time high, I don't know what cheating is. I don't know what cheating is. That's insane. That you can be out there playing one of the roughest sports and you a man hitting females. You just tackling chicks. Hitting them hard like a linebacker. You out there like Erlacher or Zach Thomas. You blasting shit. And you putting these girls on stretchers, man. Three of them. Not one, not two, but three. How is that fair, man? How is this person not being thrown out the league? Go play with some men. Go try to hit some big men. And I will see if it still works. See, that's what happens when you're no good at sports, you want to go try to dominate with some females, which is totally different. It's totally different. Women play with women, men play with men. That's it. Now, would you put a woman to play in the NFL and as soon as she get hit, she might get killed? Would that be fair? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And this shit is not fair. Shit is blowing my damn mind. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There's not rules that say, listen, it don't matter what what the hell you say that you are. If you was born a man, you can't play with women who was born women. That's it. So I don't have nothing against nobody. But that's not fair. You're hurting people now. Because you're just stronger. You're a man. You're stronger. And you playing with women in rugby? I don't get it. I don't get it. These, these things are getting stranger and stranger and stranger by the day. And the shit they're allowing? It's ridiculous. How is that even fair? Now, if you're on the other team and your teammates are getting hurt by the same person that is physically a man, looks like a man, don't got no hair, don't got no breast, he's a man. This is like me going out there and playing with females. That's trash. Man, I don't know, man. Something got to give.
because women shouldn't be out there playing their sports that they practice their whole life for to have a man come in who's stronger, bigger, and just come in there just knocking people out the game. Leave in the comments if you think that's just the craziest shit or should that be allowed? Because I'm not for that. I think men should play with men. Women should play with women. The, the power and the strength is so much different. It's crazy. There's no way a man should be able to... Now, if a man should be able to tackle a female in sports... Next thing, you're going to say a man should be able to get in the ring and, and beat up a female. That's the next thing you're going to say. Oh, it's okay. He almost killed that girl in the ring because now he identifies as a female. Bullshit. The power, the strength, no. Nuh -uh, that's not fair, man. That's not fair, and that's ridiculous. It's absolutely disturbing, too, that they're allowing men to run and hit women and knock them out the game. They shouldn't even be playing with women. Go take your weak ass and go play with some men and let them knock you out the game. That's what I say. Because this shit here, ridiculous. Fucking taking three girls out the game and you a man. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your parents should be uh, ashamed. The uh, the coach on your team should be ashamed. And them girls sticking up for you, watching them other girls get hurt, they should be ashamed. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. I don't have nothing against no community. I don't care. Do what you want to do. But don't start coming in here saying you a female and now you hurting women. That's out of pocket, bro. That's out of pocket. You ain't no female. You look like George Costanza. You got the bald head. You even got facial hair. You ain't even dressed like no female. How is you playing with the women? How are you playing with the fucking women? That is crazy to me. That's crazy. I had to touch on that because that blew my mind. If my daughter's playing rugby... And this dude hits my daughter and puts her in an ambulance. Guess what? I'm going to go on the field and me and dude going to be fighting. And that's a fact. I'm sorry to say it. We're going to be fighting because you're a man and you just hit my daughter. No matter what you want to identify as, you out there playing in a man's body versus females in women's bodies. And that's not fair. Like I said, if I was the parent, the father of one of those girls that got hurt... I be trying to whoop his ass. Because that's the same as a man hitting my daughter. That's the same shit. That's the same exact shit. I don't care what you identify as. You hit my daughter. You put her out of the game. And you're not no female. Me and you got some problems, boy. Believe that. We got some motherfucking problems. We got some shit to handle. Because that, cause that's not cracking like that. That's not going to be at all. And I don't know how... The other parents aren't just going nuts. You, you know what? I don't know. They might be. Which, as a father of one of those girls, I'd be ready to kick some ass. Because that shit is not right. Ridiculous. And that shit is just something nuts. This is Christ 17 TV. Let the boys be boys, let the girls be girls, and let them play with each other, not against each other. Boys don't verse girls. Girls verse girls, boys verse boys. That's how it's always been. Competition is way different, way different. You can't play with the boys, so you want to try to conquer with the females? That's whack. That's trash. Find you a whole different job then, because sports ain't it. If you can't compete with the men, go work in a cubicle. You want to be a girl? Go do hair. Go do feet. But don't go and try to hit females in rugby because you're stronger. You're a fucking man. That shit is ridiculous. You want to be a girl? Go do hair. Go do feet. Go, go do nails. Something where you're not going to hurt nobody at. But playing rugby with girls, 
You out of pocket, man. You out of pocket. And somebody should put you in your damn place. Christ 17 TV, like, subscribe, won't cost you a dime. You know what I'm saying? And leave a comment down there on this one is wild, man. This is too damn wild. I'm going to catch you again on the flip side. Christ 17 TV, shaking my head like a motherfucker.